we're going to a different economy, and we're going to be learning more about that uh, as we go. But clearly, we're, we're, we're learning that things can be done uh, from remote, remote locations. We're learning that technology can replace people even more than we thought. We're not going back to the same economy. We're going. We're recovering, but to a different economy, and it'll be one that is more leveraged to technology. And I worry that that is going to make it even more difficult than it was for for many workers. In Silicon Valley, and my friends who work in technology know that what we did to the manufacturing workers, we are now going to do to the retail workers, the call center workers, the fast food workers, the truck drivers, and then even bookkeepers, accountants, uh, insurance agents, lawyers, and on and on through the economy. So what happened to the manufacturing workers is a very clear sign. This effort, and China has big plans for this. They intend to seed um, their digital yuan into the global environment by giving it away to visitors at next winter's Olympics. When they arrive at the airport, they're going to get di yuan digital wallets. They're going to receive digital yuan. They're going to use it uh, throughout their visits to Beijing, and then they're going to take it back to their home countries. They see this as a huge advantage. Why? Because who controls the underlying protocols, who un controls the underlying standards of the future of money will control the future of money. Welcome to the Crypto Teacher. And guys, please like and subscribe if you do like what you're listening to. Inform your friends and family and spread all over social media. It is imperative that we get back to learning finances and understand how the world really works. Because once we understand how the world really works, we understand that it is all planned out. Now, I want to thank those who purchased the books, Crypto Teacher and the New World Order Book. The New World Order Book is going to show you how the world really works. And it's definitely time for you to wake up out of that sleep, especially in the times that we're in right now. I told you at the beginning of the year, in the first quarter of 2022, we was going to have an event that was going to bring us down. And then also in the fourth quarter, we would have an event that would bring us down. That's exactly what happened. And now I'm going to tell you, in the first quarter, we're going to have an event that's going to bring us down in 2023. And then also in the fourth quarter of 2023, we're going to have another main event. Now, of course, guys, the markets are still going to be pumping and dumping until they get ready to pull the full rug. But I'll let you know when that's about to happen. Now, also, I want to thank those who purchased the three kids' books. It's time to get re-educated. And also, much love to those who've donated to the Cash Shop and Patreon. And in my Patreon, I keep you up to date with the New Road Order events. Also, I give you the New Road Order cryptos in the Patreon. Of course, you have to do your own research. But this next bull run is going to be a utility run. So you want to make sure that you have the cryptos that have utility. And much love to those who are shopping at both stores. Keep it coming. And of course, guys, we get into Bitcoin and cryptos first. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. Right now, we have Bitcoin, cryptos, and stocks moving up. That is definitely expected. And we saw how the Fed pulled it off very smooth. We have the repo back down to $2.1 and we have DeFi, Ethereum, Classic, Litecoin, and Solana getting a decent pump. Now, guys, do not forget to pay attention to the actual indicators. We have yield rates, which they are pushing down, which is helping the stock market. We know in cryptos, it's like clockwork. We know why we're moving up. And then also, we have the dollar slightly moving back. We have volume. We have tether. We have USDC. And then, of course, guys, we have the Fed. Repo at 2.1 trillion. We know they're going to continue on raising rates starting next month. January, we get a breather, but we know Chinese New Year at the middle of the month, everything shuts down in China, so we know that's going to shrink some liquidity. Now, like I stated, January is going to be a pretty good month, but guys, starting in February, we know the masses are going to be distracted because they're going to get income taxes. They're not worried about the stock market. They're not invested unless they have 401k. And we know most people don't understand 401k and don't even pay attention to it. But stocks are about to take a beating. Fed will be raising rates in February and March, pause in April, and then start back, I think, May, June, and July. But we know it takes 12 to 18 months for these interest rates to hit the economy. 
So this year, these interest rates are about to crush these small businesses. Remember, the big corporations are going to be paying a 15% tax, but we know that it's going to pass it over to the average customer. We already see the inflation from higher wages. But when it comes to small businesses, there's no way they can survive higher rates and higher wages and then plus start putting money back into their company. It is impossible. We know mom and pops already struggle in the first place. So if we know it, we know for a fact the Fed knows it. Remember, they cause the problem, wait for the reaction, and run in with the solution. And we know the solution is the fourth industrial revolution. Whether robots, algorithms, and drones take over the economy, pay each other with crypto, and the sheep go inside the metaverse. And remember, the crypto teacher told you. Now, guys, don't forget about Grayscale, about $14.736 billion. We know that Grayscale is in trouble, but we also know regulation is coming around the corner, and I'm going to speak about that later on in the video. But getting over into a little crypto news, we have Coinbase reaches a $100 million settlement with New York regulators. And this $100 million is supposed to be for compliance. And we keep seeing this $100 million figure. It was a $50 million fine, but the other $50 million is going to the company's compliance. And we know how CNBC spends it off. They say that Coinbase settles, and now their stock soars. The same way we keep seeing these layoffs and their stock soar, but then they come right back down. You are definitely inside of a movie. Now we have Indonesia plans to launch its own crypto exchange. And guys, we know it doesn't matter what country you go to, they all have a plan for the digital transformation. And we have U.S. feds put together FTX task force to trace stolen user funds. And we know the NWO controls the alphabet boys. So we know for a fact they're definitely not going to come up with anything when it comes to to investigating themselves. You had the top corporations invested in FTX, and all of them came out and said the same thing. Oh, bank man is not that bad, and they were just writing off the money. They don't even care about the money. That lets you know it's something bigger, and we know what that bigger is. Those trillions and trillions of dollars of derivatives being put on blockchain and being ran by an algorithm. And remember, the crypto teacher told you. Now we have Israeli securities regulator moves to establish crypto legal framework. And we know crypto regulation is going to be global. And lastly, speaking of regulation, we have Ripple CEO optimistic about U.S. regulatory clarity for crypto. And we know Brad Garlinghouse is exactly right. We know the Republicans are about to take back over the House. We know the Hegelian dialectic is being set up. Also, we know the NWO is ready to flip the switch on this fourth industrial revolution. And we know crypto is a big piece of that. We're going to start seeing blockchain and crypto being embedded in our financial system. And also throughout the economy, we know how smart contracts are going to change the world. And then you're adding crypto, real-time payments, XRP, XLM, and a few others, Bitcoin Lightning. And you add in the robots, algorithms, and drones, Starlinks, the satellite, where these devices will be able to control themselves, charge themselves. I did a short video on the driverless car actually charging itself. And you put in Elon Musk Skynet, and we know blockchain gives the NWO the all CNI. The global economy will be moving at the speed of light. And remember, the crypto teacher told you because he knows when it comes to the new world order. It's all planned out. But guys, all I have for you, don't forget about the books, Crypto Teacher and the New Road Order Book, plus the three kids' books, it's time to re-educate. Also, if new to cryptos, Coinbase, BitChu, Binance, do not forget book links and crypto links are in the description. The Stock Channel, guys, don't forget about the Stock Channel. Go like, subscribe, spread everywhere. You have your Koba, your chip stocks, your banking, your gaming. While everybody's sitting at home, get home stocks, the Seaver, the biotech stocks. And while everybody's at home wishing, they were still getting that free money. What are they doing? Drinking and smoking weed. Don't forget about those stocks and you have a wonderful day. The most powerful person in the world is the storyteller. The storyteller sets the vision, values, and agenda of an entire generation to come. Steve Jobs. And guys, you know I truly believe in this. When you look at the New World Order, they're the storytellers. And that's the reason why I wrote my New World Order book. 
But guys, now it's time to change the current generation. And I wrote three kids books. You know, I love the Trinity because I understand the power that's in it. So I have three books. We have an opportunity to change the generation, to educate, not just me, but I want to show you that I take action on a daily basis. And I want you to take action on a daily basis, whether it's your job, whether it's in your community. We have an opportunity right now to educate the masses. I posted this on my Twitter account. Please share. But this is a short clip of the three books. There's going to be a clothing line and action figure. Please get these books for your kids, nephews, cousins, friends. So therefore, we can start the re-education now. Because as we see, the fourth industrial revolution foundation is definitely here. Robots, algorithms, drones, taking humanity out the picture. We have to re-educate. But let's get into the video. Part 1. King Joshua and Grandma Tim. Save the village. Part 2. King Joshua and Grandma Tim. Save New York. Long COVID-33. Part 3. King Joshua and Grandma Tim. Goes to China. It's mandatory to get part one, part two, and part three of this series. It's time to re-educate Generation Z.